I'm going to be installing and reviewing the Cloud RO filtration system. I've been eyeing reverse osmosis systems for a long time now, but it was hard finding a product that truly purified my water until now. The Cloud RO system is NSF certified and dare I say the Mercedes of reverse osmosis machines. You can get reverse osmosis systems under $200, but they're only going to do a fraction of what the cloud does. So let's get into it. Despite the compact size of the Cloud RO system, I did not want to jam it under my sink simply because I just don't have the room. So we're going to be installing this into a custom cabinet that's actually an upper cabinet that we're going to make into a drink station. Cloud RO does a good job in providing written instructions, but I highly recommend watching the video. Now, if you don't have a pre-drilled hole next to your sink, you are going to have to make that hole, maybe with a special drill bit, or if you're doing something custom like us. I just happen to have a handy guy in my life who has lots of tools, and he thought that the installation of the Cloud RO system was super smooth and easy. The cabinet was harder. So we've been buying and using spring water, which has been very expensive, and honestly, it's been sort of a pain. I do a lot of cooking, so I'm looking forward to having a nice, pure, clean water source next to my stove so I can make soups, pastas, rice, and it's just going to be so accessible. Here's a quick look at the magazine that contains all of the filters. As you can see, everything is very well labeled. There are the three filters in dark blue. The light blue is the remineralizer, and the white is the battery pack. What's really cool is if we were to lose power, we'll still have clean, fresh water. One, because we have a battery pack, and two, water pressure is enough in the city system to keep this flowing. The Cloud RO is going to filter out sediment, rust, the carbon filter is going to remove VOCs, chemical disinfectants, and the reverse osmosis filters are going to take out heavy metals, PFAs, pharmaceuticals, bacteria, and much more. The cloud is then going to add back good trace minerals and alkalinity to the water. So as this is the first time I'm using it, I'm going to turn the water on at the water source or the shutoff valve. And then I'm going to wait for water to trickle out. Now I'm going to let the tank fill. I'm going to empty it. I'm going to fill it again and drain it two more times. While it's doing all of this, it's a great time for me to download the app. This app is going to act like mission control in that it is my window into the health of the system. I can track how much water I'm consuming. I can check the alkalinity level. I can see how full the tank is. I can also see what trace minerals are being added to the water and, of course, the overall quality of the water. So now some quick questions, at least these are the ones that I had. The tank, it is actually stainless steel on the inside. It does have a rubber bladder, which helps create pressure for the system. The plastic parts that are used are BPA free. The filters should last me one year, especially since it's just my husband and I using this right now. I just love how tidy and compact and efficient this system is. Okay, so let's talk about waste. Lots of systems out there make like three gallons of waste per one gallon of pure water. This one is about one to one, which is awesome. So instead of our wastewater going down the drain line, ours is going to be rerouted out to our garden. So we will be wasting nothing. Now the most important part, how does it taste? I consider myself a bit of a water snob. So I was a little apprehensive, but guess what? I am pleasantly surprised the water tastes fresh, crisp, clean. I love it. So I can't wait to just drink it on a daily basis and of course cook with it. So convenient and I am beyond thrilled. I'm very pleased with how this project turned out and I love that I have fresh, clean water so accessible. If you'd like to learn more, click on the link down below.